Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Catanio. I'm a thoracic surgeon and medical director of Anne Arundel's Thoracic Oncology Program. The National Lung Screening Trial was initiated by the National Cancer Institute as a way to determine, um, if possible, whether lung cancer screening was of any benefit. And there were significant uh, benefits for those who had a low dose CAT scan. They had a benefit in overall survival as compared to those who just had a chest x-ray. And here at Anne Arundel, we've started a lung cancer screening program. So high risk patients, and by that we mean patients who are between the ages of 55 and 74 years of age, patients who either currently smoke or stopped smoking within the last 15 years, and patients who have smoked uh, over 30 pack years uh, during their lifetime. By that we mean one pack a day for 30 years, two packs a day for 15 years, and so forth. These participants are considered to be at the highest risk for lung cancer. We're offering patients who meet these criteria the opportunity to have a low-dose CAT scan to help determine whether or not they have any abnormalities that may actually be lung cancer. So patients who have an abnormal finding within their lung or somewhere else in their chest are referred to our multidisciplinary program whereby a, our group of uh, chest experts look at the films, evaluate the patient, and help determine what the next step in the management or evaluation should be. The Rapid Access program was established to help uh, quickly uh, refer and evaluate patients who are found to have abnormalities in their chest. Not, a, not all of the abnormalities will prove to be important, but we found that uh, the, if the patients are seen quickly, it not only uh, helps speed up their management, but also helps decrease the anxiety level after they've been found to have an abnormality on a chest scan.